Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing, and today we're going to be talking about how to effectively communicate with your clients. All right. Okay, now that that's over, communicating with your clients effectively. Now this is like key, number one, ultimate, like <laughs> most important thing that you can do when you're a tattooer, right? Uh, and you can know this on both sides. Like if you're a client, you're going in and you feel heard and you can communicate well with the person, you trust them more to understand what you're wanting to get done. And uh, you can trust them with the tattoo, even if maybe you don't have as much control over it as you would like. And on the opposite side, as a tattooer, if you know that you're communicating well with somebody, you can un make them understand exactly what you are thinking, you know, how best to guide them. And that way there's not gonna be a block between you two when maybe there comes a point in time in the design process or the tattoo where things aren't working out right and you need to like work together to come up with a reasonable, you know, conclusion. Um, I have this happen quite often. I consider every tattoo a hypothesis, right? At the beginning of the job, we come up with the artwork, we do the consults, my consults are crazy long. Um, the amount of time that we spend with people just educating in general is uh, hours and hours and hours in comparison with most tattoo consults that I see or even some of my friends do where it's, it's relatively compact, right? What do you want? This is what I can do. This is how much it's gonna cost. Deuces, right? No, we spend hours talking with people about how best to do the tattoo, why I'm doing what I'm doing, and give them enough information that they can make reasonable decisions themselves. This is because I'm always focusing on communicating with clients. Um, I take it to an extreme, of course, and I'm not thinking that everyone should do this, but in my case, that extra time that I put in with people is always, always, always paying off in spades when something doesn't go the way that you think it's gonna go. So, steps to communicating with clients effectively. Number one, right, is you have to build trust. So how do we build trust when we're communicating with someone? One is active listening, right? If somebody is talking with you, they have questions, concerns, you don't just go, oh, don't worry about it. You know, I'm a tattooer, you can trust me. No, like address them. Give them reasonable answers and let them know that you know what you're doing, right? And inversely, if you're a client and you don't like feel heard, try to make the effort too, right? Like, hang on, I need you to slow down. Like, this is a question I have and it's very important to me. If you're not respected them at halfway, maybe you should find someone else, right? Because you have to have trust for good communication, right? Um, number two with this is ask questions. We should always be asking questions on both parties, like who are involved in this tattoo, right? Um, the client should be asking you everything that they can so that they can make an educated decision about their body. That's, that's informed consent. All of their questions are answered, right? And as a, as a tattooer, tattoo artist, if you're asking questions, you should be trying to get more than just the basic design thing. You need to put a little bit more of yourself out there, right? You want to find out what the intention is behind this. If somebody comes in, they say, I want a picture of a dog. It could be that they really like this type of dog, or maybe their dog has passed away. Maybe it's something else, right? So that level or energy that they're bringing into the actual consult or into the tattoo procedure should be met with some type of like matching energy, right? It, it wouldn't be like somebody has just lost a child and they want to get a memorial tattoo on their body and you come in guns blazing, you know, playing, I don't know, whatever 80s hair metal. The energy isn't going to match and it's going to mess up the actual experience. So always be sure to ask questions so make sure you understand what people are coming, you know, at you with. <laughs> Um, we'll just do three today. We'll try to keep this video like nice and short. I know I've been doing some longer ones, so we'll just, we'll just do a little bit shorter. So it's so the last thing that we can do to effectively communicate with clients, right? This is the biggest one. Take your time. And this is something that I think is kind of missed a lot in the industry because there's kind of this like, like pump and dump, you know, like get them in, get them out, get them tattooed, don't ask too many questions mentality where we're always just trying to get people to come in because, I mean, the vast majority of us should be working two jobs, right? But we don't because this job is so hard. So as a tattooer, to take your time, it's so difficult, right? Because you know you could just do it. You kind of have a feeling that you know what's going on, but realistically, you're not sure. You know, you have to question that. You have to know that you can slow down. And the same thing goes for clients. Like when you walk into a place, maybe the power dynamic is a little bit too much and you feel pressured. You don't want to feel weird, so you just agree to do whatever you want to do. And realistically, like you shouldn't. You should just take your time. Back off and say, hey, I want to think about it. You know, take control of the situation. This is going to be on your body permanently. And for tattooers, this will be on their body permanently. You need to make sure that you take that time that's necessary.
as an example, I have a young lady that came in to get a tattoo. It was her first tattoo, um, and she was scared about the process and very, 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 very um, insecure about what the tattoo would look like when it was done. So I, I'm all for taking the artwork, putting it on someone, and sending them home. I don't care. Um, I have a feeling that because I've invested time with these people and I trust them enough to work with them because I've don't trust and I've asked a lot of questions, that they're going to come back with that thing and we're working together, collaborating effectively to do the tattoo. So I put this tattoo on her, she goes home and she comes back and she's like, all right, I'm ready for the tattoo. I print out a stencil that doesn't look exactly like what she'd want, wanted. Uh, and she's like, no, I don't want to do this. I'm like, cool. So we talk a little bit, come up with another design, send her home. She doesn't like it, comes back. We do this a few times. And I think about six hours worth of time later, she's like, I just want to do the first drawing that we did exactly the way it's done. I said, fine. We had a picture of it. I took a stencil off of it. We did it. The tattoo took maybe 10 minutes. Um, but we took our time, and when she was done, she was just like, oh, you know, like so relieved. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. And that result is worth so much more on the long term than me just getting, you know, a hundred bucks for saying like, oh, I don't have the time to do this. You know what I mean? So take, take your time, ask questions, build trust with your clients, and you can be an effective communicator. That's it. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.